Okay, here we go. This is the Scrambler. It's at the Science Olympiad. And I'll tell you that this was a new event for Zealand. We haven't played this uh, in this event. The, new, the rules were new to me. But it's even more new to these kids. These kids didn't even plan on being in this event. They were part of another event. The kid that I was working with got really sick with bacteria, something or other, 106 fever. Um, and so these kids stepped in. I wasn't allowed to be out there with them. I had to just tell them what to do. Here he is counting revolutions. She's tying that string. I even told them how to tie the string, but I couldn't show them. I couldn't be out there to show them. These kids did a real good job of setting this thing up all on their own with just the information that I gave them earlier. Anyway, we measured the track. I had run this thing four times as well. I'd never seen the brakes work. Uh, four times. Twice it ran off course, and then twice it crashed into the wall. But uh, I figured it was going to take about two feet to skid to a stop. We calculated two pi r. We didn't have to. We didn't expect to have to do that. We thought we could just unwind it on the track. That's what a video showed me. But we had to actually calculate the distance and uh, to the wall. Here, I'll let you see what's going on with this. I'll let you watch these guys. There's rubber bands around the wheels for traction. Oh, I should say that uh, both axles lock up. Actually, this was good enough for third place. Oh. Amazing as that may seem. How could somebody do better? Well, two other schools crashed their little uh, cars into the table, not hard enough to break the egg. And the things don't recoil. Those eggs don't bounce. And so that Grand Haven came in and just took it right away from us, uh, from everybody with uh, first place. And we had uh, third place. Just don't hit the table, Kaylee. <laughs> Did you get one?